Hello and welcome to this tutorial showing how to install add-ons to XBMC using the amazing Super Repo. Super Repo currently holds over 1000 XBMC add-ons and skins. Step 1 is downloading the zip file. Uh, open your web browser, uh, go to your search engine and type in Super Repo, it's the top link. Right, on the main page we want the get started button which is at the top in the centre. Click on that. There are a couple of ways to install uh, Super Repo. There's two methods listed here on this screen. We're going to be using the top method. The difference between the two is uh, one contains a repo uh, containing sub repos, which is a bit lighter. The other one is very heavy, so avoid that one unless you've got a top spec machine. Okay, save the file. Uh, we're going to create a folder called Super in the uh, C directory uh, just to make it easier to find. Um, we're going to save it in there. And remember where you've saved it because you'll need that later just confirm that it's saved just showing it there for you okay uh, that's uh, step one step two is to install uh, via SSH using WinSCP uh, you can skip this step if uh, XBMC is on the machine that you've just downloaded the zip file from navigate to system uh, system info we need uh, we need to find the IP address of the machine it's listed in network and there it is there make a note of that you'll also need that in a second uh, open WinSCP and type in uh, the IP address that you just got from XBMC and the password on Apple devices, uh, the, sorry the root, the username is root, uh, the password is Alpine uh, for OpenELEC uh, the username is root, the password is OpenELEC and for RaspBMC the username is Pi and the password is Raspberry log in and it might pop up with an error just click OK if it does OK, on the left you'll see the local storage and on the right is the remote storage. Uh, on the left, navigate to where you stored the zip file. And you need to copy it over onto the right in a folder that is easily accessible and remember something that you can remember. Um, so on this one we're going to store it in the uh, media folder. And just uh, copy it across left to right, confirm. And that is that. Okay, step three is to install the zip file into XBMC. Uh, to do that in XBMC, we need to navigate to System, Settings, Add-ons, and Install from Zip File. On the right-hand side, you'll see the storage. Uh, the zip file on this machine is stored in the super folder that we created earlier. So navigate to that. And there it is there, if you click on it. A uh, little pop-up on the uh, bottom right-hand corner will uh, say that it's enabled. Once it's uh, installed, you need to click on Get Add-ons. And you'll see the Super Repo repository uh, should be there at the top. If you click on that, and then the Add-on repository. Uh, if you click on the top link there, that will install uh, uh, the all the repos. So all the add-ons will be there. But we're just going to install the specific uh, repo for the one we want and we're going to go for the skin so that's that one there click on that click install uh, download again it will confirm on the bottom right hand corner when it's installed now if we click back and uh, click get other ones and there is the uh, super repo skins if we click on that you'll see that it's empty if you go back and if you right click on the mouse or press C on the keyboard or on the Apple device if you press and hold the menu key it'll bring up the context menu and we need a force refresh that will refresh the repository now if we go back in you'll see that there's something there if we click on skins and we're going to install the uh, which one should we install We'll install this one, and that will begin downloading. Uh, at the end of the video, you can uh, like uh, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So, and um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel or IP Bry's YouTube channel. It's worth checking out. Some good content on there. 
Okay, once that's downloaded, it'll ask you if you want to switch to the skin. If you click leak, yes, and there we go. That's the new skin. I'll just show you the menu screen. And it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.